In case you missed it, Subnautica is a game that YouTube Let's Players play a lot, but it's not really a game that is a part of my interest because it's a survival or exploration game of some sort on Steam, which is below my interest alongside free-to-play multiplayer games. But what happened with Subnautica? Well, the sound engineer for the game, Simon Shalinsky, got fired from the game because he retweeted Paul Joseph Watson and made anti-SJW comments. Those are literally it. I mean... Paul Joseph Watson is not exactly the most likable individual in the planet, but firing him because he retweeted a controversial figure? It's like firing someone for liking Quentin Tarantino movies after he made that stupid comment defending Roman Polanski. But there's more to it than just that. A hilarious part of the story is when one of the game developers of Subnautica decided to tweet something that makes me laugh. The tweet is a question with a poll and the question goes like this. Would you prefer we added the option to play as a woman in Subnautica or improve the core game? So of course those filthy misogynistic gamers decided to answer improve the core game. I mean, just typical. What is it with you gamers and hating women? Is it how you treat women in real life? Are you seriously going to prioritize your video games over the lives of women in real life? You have to be such an utterly miserable loser who never sees a woman in real life or don't even have girlfriends. Stop playing your video games and start caring about our social justice cause and adding more women in video games, aka making senpai to notice me more and more because I'm psychotic and I have self-esteem issues. I find it baffling that people use this tweet as a point to make fun of gamers. I mean, God forbid gamers want the core gameplay to be improved. God forbid we want to have some fun in this game. And like a massive freaking coward, this guy backtracked his statement. Deleted my terribly worded tweet to avoid more anger all round. I want to be very clear that I fight for women representation on our team and in our games harder than anyone. It's really important to me. I am just sad we did make the main character female to begin with. Alas. <sighs> no, you're not. You're not fighting for female representation. You're trying to make sure that those Tumblr rights don't get pissy at you and you want them to stop spamming your forums. No, seriously, according to an interesting discovery by One Angry Gamer, turns out there have been a lot of Tumblr rights spamming the forums with constant demands of female protagonists. Female protagonists! Female protagonists! One of the users had this to say for the demand. Where's the playable girl character? As a girl gamer personally, I have been very much looking forward to the addition of the playable girl character since early in development where it was announced. I followed the development of the models for the girl character and everything seemed to be coming along great. It was my understanding that it was supposed to be part of the game before the full release, but there still isn't an option for it anywhere to be seen. I'm actually somewhat disappointed that it hasn't been implemented yet. Playing as the guy character and hearing guy sounds and seeing the guy body when playing is very immersion breaking to me. Does anyone know when or if this will actually be implemented? Anyone know why it hasn't been yet? I don't know, lady. In a game where you're stuck in first person most of the time and it isn't an RPG where your gender can at least contribute somehow into certain character interaction, I don't think gender really matters so much. I want to understand how playing as a guy character feels unimmersive. I mean, come on. I played Ally in Isolation and the main character was a female and the game is pretty immersive. I have no problems with it. I played every Bethesda RPG game with a female character and I have no problems with it. So I don't get about your complaints on being unimmersive. I think you really need to explain yourself much better. An interesting thing to point out is that the user followed the game developer from the start and they apparently promised a female model for the game. If that's the case, then I kind of understood where the complaints come from because you promised one thing and you didn't deliver it in the final product, which either shows that you're not for female representation at all or you are but you did a horrendous job at it. I think you guys really need to make up your own mind. Do you guys want female representation or not? And while we're at it, I suggest you to further enhance the spectrum of political correctness by representing the ignored oppressed race of the deep sea anglerkins. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are reaching a very weird time in which Captain Jack Harkness managed to launch a spaceship into the air with a dummy astronaut inside a car live streamed to everyone's viewing pleasure. Without people's knowledge, it is actually a distraction as the legendary captain also end up selling energy weapons to the public, possibly to arm everyone in one of the many preparations required to win over the upcoming Daleks invasion. The future is such an amazing time, isn't it? There's only one part of this that is missing. Me! Today's SpaceX launch wasn't groundbreaking in one major way. Everything about today's SpaceX Falcon Heavy launch should have been groundbreaking. The world's most powerful rocket, one with the ability to lift almost 141,000 pounds to orbit, achieved liftoff. Elon Musk's personal Tesla is now chilling in space. We may all be living on Mars in the not-so-far-off future. Oh, wait a second, I got the guy's name wrong. Let me do the intro again. <clears throat> 
Malcolm Merlin managed to convince LexCorp to build his own spaceship, fly it off the air, and have a dummy robot inside Lex's expensive car, while he himself is selling energy weapons he stole off of Star Labs to build his own army called the Legion of Doom and take over the world. Now that we got the introduction right, please continue, article. But those watching the live stream of the history-making moment that took place at Florida Kennedy Space Center were quick to take to Twitter with one glaring observation. Shots of the room where employees and onlookers gathered to whoop and holler as they watched the culmination of their hard work showed barely any women. Looking for one in a seemingly all-male crowd was like playing an intensely frustrating game of Where's Waldo? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is why I love the internet. The sight of people who literally beg for attention in the name of social justice while doing it without any sorts of irony is why I am so glad that one of the members of Legion of Doom is making a huge progress into humanity's absolute destruction. Perhaps the next SpaceX milestone should be to get more women engineers. I didn't spot a single one in this shot of the engineers awaiting the launch. I didn't find a single woman in this picture, therefore there are no women who worked in SpaceX, and therefore... Go Go Dalex? I mean, I would love for these women to have jobs as space engineers while also having a higher risk of dying, might as well as aspire to be a red shirt. I guess all of the women at SpaceX were in the bathroom together. That is probably correct, they are in the bathroom being eaten alive by the deep sea anglerkins. Judging by the screenshot from the SpaceX launch today, we need to encourage more women to go into STEM professions, like 20 years ago. I want to reply to this, but someone already made an excellent one. Should I pull my daughter off of the ballet and tell them that she needs to stop her crafting and writing for the greater good and such? Oh! Wow, what do you say after that one? Brutal, savage, wrecked. Absolutely taken down. Although one women flight reliably engineer Lauren Lyons joined male employees to speak during the live cast, the photo showed little gender diversity in the moment of celebration. For women working in tech, it was a disappointing omission and another reminder of the industry's gender gap. It's another disappointing day in which we are not given attention because we are women. Why aren't we given attention because we are women? Lady, if you want us to pay attention to you, I have a very good suggestion. Show your genitals, because that's the only thing that you think is worthy of someone else's attention. The people at Twitch would certainly welcome that. I would not be surprised if these Tumblrites are actually closet strippers who are too embarrassed to show off because they have self-esteem issues and they've gotten too fat with all the cake they eat for body positivity. I was watching live with some other female engineers and we were so excited about the launch and all watching together and commenting back and forth in excitement. Sarah Chips, the founder of Dual Bots wearables that teach kids how to code, told Refinery29. That energy disappeared when the group saw the shot of cheering room of employees. But for Chips, the moment also reiterated the importance of getting more women involved in STEM from a young age. And putting them in a higher risk of danger and death. Feminism 2018, putting all women into roles that would make the red shirts look pretty safe. Of course, this is not me saying that women shouldn't go to STEM or become space engineers. I'm sure that being a crew member of the Starship Enterprise is a great job, especially when you get to bang the captain, or in the case of Darling in the Franks, excellent back massage. If you got discouraged to go to STEM thanks to my totally non-ironic jokes, I think you have bigger self-esteem issues, lady, and the last thing that I need in my spaceship is someone who is too afraid to shoot a gun and apologize to the Daleks because you got their pronouns wrong. Yes, today was a major step for humankind and space sex, but instead of spending effort to sell flamethrowers to fanboys, maybe make sure there are some women in the room next time. Instead of spending effort to sell energy weapons in preparation for the next alien invasion, maybe make sure that there are some women in the battlefield. Well, ladies, if your priority is the fact that you are getting zero attention from the galaxy's most attractive man, I think you have a much greater use in sacrificing yourself for Jeffrey Dahmer's breakfast special. Oh great, we have another case in a severely disturbed desire for attention. It's like the third time, fourth, actually fifth time this freaking week. Why do you guys really want attention so much? And if we do give you attention, can you please also pay close attention to the sharp edge of this brand new chainsaw? Star Wars, 96% of its film universe writers and directors are white men. In this article, I would like to remind you all about how white men have power in my favorite fictional universe, and I really, really want it. I loved the Star Wars movies. I adored The Last Jedi and cried during almost all of Carrie Fisher's scenes. I'm a fan of the other recent Star Wars films as well. But loving something doesn't mean you ignore its flaws. In fact, if you're a critic, you're not doing your job if you fail to comment on the patterns you see. 
That is correct, but since you don't identify as a critic and you don't act like a critic, the argument is pretty moot. Carry on. The Star Wars tapestry is now 41 years old, with 17 theatrical films released or planned forming the backbone of the franchise. By my count, during those four decades, 24 people were hired to direct, write, or otherwise take the creative lead on Star Wars feature films. 23 of those key creators were white men. The sole exception is Leigh Brackett, a white woman who had a screenplay credit on The Empire Strikes Back, which came out 38 years ago. Otherwise, no men of color, women of color, or white women have held these positions. The franchise's leading creative voice has been white men 96% of the time. I mean, come on guys. It's time that we give Star Wars to people who are not white men. Especially me. That would be wonderful. Actually, no. Give it to the deep sea anglerkins. That is shocking, and it has to change. <laughs> yeah, uh... Sure it has. And while you're complaining about white people, I would also like to point out how the sorts of people that always complain about this sort of thing are also white. I mean, I don't know about you, but white people begging for more representation of non-white while the rest of the non-whites just look at them weird is a very bizarre form of cuckoldry. Since we're talking about Star Wars, it's like if Darth Vader complained that the rebels need more army, so he sent some of his stormtroopers to help them. I mean, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense. And while we're at it, wasn't Darth Vader voiced by James Earl Jones? Why is the costume for Darth Vader black? Why is it called the dark side? Why am I giving these people ideas?